Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Making a Main. Last episode we spent a lot of time trying to make our house look pretty. And uh, we're actually going to start off this episode by trying to make it look even prettier. But in reality we had a goal last episode and that was putting an observatory in our house. Okay, maybe it's just pointing a telescope out the window, but either way, we're looking for meteors today. Back in the first couple of episodes, we actually got our mining level really high, and it enables us to be able to mine tier 8 meteors. The only thing we can't do is tier 9, and we can also mine anything in the 1500 total level worlds. Anything above that we'll probably avoid, and also any PvP worlds too. Spending nearly an entire day on call for the Star Callers, we were able to get <laughs> about 25% of the actual Stardust we needed, so this is going to be an incremental gain. Getting sick of looking at rocks, so I thought it'd be a great idea to do some Temperos. And actually, we're coming in with a 100 Temperos KC and 351 rewards points to fish with. Diving straight into it, and we've actually already got a couple of caskets, and the soak pages are piling up, so you know we're gonna be looking for that water tome. Of course, we could do for any uniques whatsoever. We want to fill out the collection log as much as possible on this account. Believe it or not, there's actually a lot of uniques for Temporos, and we just got one that's the tackle box, which is, to be honest, one of the most useful uniques out of the whole bunch it allows you to store all of your fishing gear in there pretty much everything that you could ever need and it does actually make the beginner clue scrolls a little bit easier because you already have your fishing stuff on you 80 more rewards to go and we're knocking them right out of the park i'm hoping for another unique here but we're actually just racking up all of these caskets and in just a few more fishes, we're gonna have to call that done. Finishing off Water Todd with a couple of caskets. There's not exactly anything I can expect from the caskets that would be useful for me. It's basically just alkables or uh, selling stuff on the GE. Uh, there is a couple of pieces of jewelry, like the Ring of Life that I might end up using, but that's really about it. The caskets are just a nice little bonus to make sure I make a little bit of money while I'm fishing. We're gonna do a quick little price check, and that's actually gonna be a little bit over 2 mil. After all that trouble, we didn't actually get enough to switch over our whole outfit or switch over our crane to a brand new look. So we're gonna spend a little bit more time over here at the Temperos boss, but I am gonna go ahead and start changing over our outfit to start off with. We should be able to have enough to do three pieces of the set and we're so close to the fourth. And still no beaver. Nice. So we're pretty much done with Temperos, at least for now. But there is actually a few different ways that you could do it. There's the normal harpoon, dragon harpoon, infernal harpoon, crystal harpoon. And uh, we did the dragon. So next, we're actually going to be looking for the infernal harpoon. And this specific one requires 85 cooking just to be able to use it. So that's what we're going to try to crack out right here and now. Wines is always a great way and good, good experience points if you're ever looking to uh, grind out cooking too. As quick as it started, the cooking grind has ended. And of course... <laughs> I missed 85 cooking, so here's a screenshot to prove that I did it. And hey, since I just messed up, I figured I'd be the biggest hypocrite in the world and point out somebody else's mistakes. So, why can't we put the Pearl Barbarian Fishing Rod in the tackle box? I mean, I spent so long earning that thing. Also, why no dark flippers? Okay, hypocritical rant over. Rag and Bone Man done and over with. I don't know who Rag is, but they used to call me Bone Man. Walking out of the fight arena without a scratch on me. The dwarves and cave goblins are connected. Imagine those babies. 
60 magic earns us bone to peaches, and hint, hint, that's probably what we got on the agenda next time. We've also got some troll romance. Horror from the Deep is up next, and that'll unlock Dagonoths for our Slayer tasks. And after a long-awaited time, we're finally allowed in the Shiloh Village. I actually really liked this one, and I liked meeting the genie's evil brother. I did not like this one. If I did not have a quest guide, I would not have done this quest. It's basically a maze. We're doing some agility, but here comes a fletching level, and the second one to boot. Actually getting a level for the tasks that we're doing. That's 70 agility, and we can go to a brand new course to get some more marks of grace. Next time I miss a combat level, this is what I'm going to do. Just slow it down to 10% speed. I'll always be doing clues in the background for you guys, just to have a little opening at the end. But this guy, he's stuck. He won't disappear, won't nothing. I don't understand it. I'll tell you what. I'm more than excited to get these mediums started and underway, but you know we gotta set ourselves up like we did for the easies too. So there's 22 stash units for the medium clues. Since there's 22 stash units to fill, you would assume that things might be a bit more expensive than last time, but not really. With the easy stash units, we didn't spend too much more than we're actually spending right now, which is 150k. And if we're being honest, that's a small drop in the bucket for things that you could actually win on the medium clues, like uh, ranger boots. Let me say that again, uh, $35 million ranger boots. So yeah, I feel like it's worth it. Now we're halfway through getting all of these stash units together, and I want to go ahead and say I'm so thankful that this is a main account and not an Iron Man account. This would basically be impossible to set up all 20-something stash units in a row without a great amount of effort as an Iron Man. So, I'm taking advantage of things as a main if I can't help it. <laughs> With the last few stash units to go, we're actually going to start something we haven't done in a little while, and that's the Slayer Grind. Well, we're kind of behind with our Slayer points on basically everything else, so we need to earn some things like the Rune Pouch. And on to Slayer we go. Got to slay em, gotta slay em all, gotta slay em all. Anku, Rock Slug, Harpy Bug Swarm, Bronze Dragon, Black Demon, Woe Beast. Comment section, Cave Crawler, Blood Veld, Harpy Bug Swarm, Basilisks, Banshee, Dagonoth, got to slay em, gotta slay em all, gotta slay em all, old school runescape. <laughs> Hopefully my singing voice didn't scar you guys from all that, but I figured I'd just go ahead and show you how many combat levels we got out of me actually trying to make a singing montage. <laughs> Hopefully I won't have to cut that out, it's pretty close to the Pokemon rap, but if I do, you guys know what happened. But without further ado, let's open some clues. Alright everybody, it's time for this episode to come to a close, and of course I mess up the first 13 caskets by not pressing record, but that's okay, it's just beginners and we're looking for two specific things here. The monk robe bottoms, and we're also looking for the Zamorak ornament kit and really anything else is just a nice little bonus like I said earlier we're not really gonna stop these beginner clues until we get to 600 or complete the collection log uh, I'd like to get both of those done but if 600 happens before I complete the collection log then we'll keep going <laughs> but that unlocks an explorers emote is what I'm really looking for Easy Clues are a different story because basically anything that we get is a unique from Easy Clues. Uh, we've only had about 25, 27, there we go, an elegant top. But uh, we're trying, <laughs> full set of the elegant right there, and it's even the same color, what are the odds of that? <laughs> but uh, yeah, Easy Clues, we pretty much need everything from them, and uh, I'm pretty much just going to sell anything I get from Easy Clues. Ooh, there we go. Honestly, I could use that on my hardcore right now. It'd match the color scheme. We also actually might keep purple sweets. To be honest, that might be the only thing we really do keep out of all of these clues here. I uh, probably won't hit the medium clues as full force as I have been the beginners and easies until I at least get one of those tiers out of the way. But we are actually all set up for easy medium clues after today.
So we're going through a couple more, and uh, uniques are actually coming left and right at this point. It's a very good sight to see, another prayer scroll. You can always use some more of those. I think that's the second one we've gotten so far. Um, easies are done and over with, and I don't think we have much else to show for that. <laughs> Gilded climbing boots, my god. That's a really good pull from just the few mediums we've done. <laughs> Wizard boots too, oh my god. Wow, that is crazy. Just figured I'd show off the haul we got today, and it looks like the guide price says a little bit under a mil. Now, I forgot to put the uh, wizard boots and a shield in here, too, so it'd definitely be a little bit over a mil for the guide price for us. So let's see if we can get any more than that. Selling off all the supplies and, of course, spitting it up for your convenience. We're going to see how much we can actually get out of everything that's not a unique before we start selling those off. Now in this here, I'm also going to be including any of the loot from the Impling Jars as well, and anything I didn't really need from the Clue Scrolls that was just supplies and stuff, even the jewelry too. We've got a little bit under half a mil, and now we're going to start selling off all our uniques to see how much we can really get out of there. And it looks like from everything we've got, it's going to be 1.6 mil. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I really appreciate you sticking around till the end. And as always, we like to do the skill recap and show you just how long I've been spending my time on RuneScape. But if you guys liked it, leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.